All right, so I got this cool toy from Amazon. It's supposed to be a foraging toy, and you basically teach the bird to pull these, and it pulls the whole box out, and then you can fill the box with stuff. So I'm gonna see if Touche feels like being brave and checking out something new. Now, I, I'm gonna say that I'm like this with all birds, but touch training is super duper the foundation. Hey, bud. And I kind of scooted that towards him on accident when I went to hand him the treat. But if he, I'm hoping that he just happens to touch one of these ropes and then I'm just gonna be looking to exaggerate that touching into a pull, into a yank. Yeah, do you guys see that? So he just kind of did it naturally. Again, I've, as you guys have seen, I've kind of worked on him understanding to like touch something new and realize it's not gonna kill you. <coughs> yeah, we have, huh? So right now he's just barely touching it. Now what happens when you want to get an exaggerated behavior is you don't reward for what I'm currently rewarding for. So if I don't reward for it, he'll probably try again. Ooh, that was good. He actually touched the knot this time. That was good because he picked it up. But if he gives me a wimpy one, I'm not going to click and reward. He's going for a different color. Yes, that one's okay. Try really hard. Try it really hard. Now I don't want to get him to quit, so the next one I will reward. Can I go over here? He really wants a target stick. Can you come over here? Yank one of these? Yank this one. Yank this one. <laughs> yeah, good job. So he got two rewards on that. And he's getting sunflower seeds and pine nuts. Randomly. Good, that was a yank. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna move it so that you can actually make progress. And this is gonna be asking something new because now I've changed the orientation of this, so now it's a new trick. Come on over. Oh, you tripped. It's the cutest trip I've ever seen. Okay, still want you to pull this. And give it a yank. I'm scared of it. Okay, let's try this. Oops, good job. So he's definitely scared or more nervous of the new orientation, which is important for us to remember as trainers because he almost did it. Um, we may think it's the same trick, but it's not if you completely change the orientation of what you're working with. Good job. So you guys probably remember that I used to get really excited about his stuff and I realized how it affected him. 
so I'm definitely keeping it a lot more calm. And it tends to let him focus on learning instead of my reaction. Now I will say some birds respond really, really well to the praise, but this is one that doesn't really. It appears like he does because he gets more animated, but it actually works completely against me. Yank it. Can you give it a good yank? Like really pull on it? On the blue one? It's good enough. Might have to get it started for you though. Let's try that. Is that scarier? Really yank it. Over there. Okay, I want him to pull it just enough so it actually clicks out. Because that could act kind of as the clicker does, where that noise means, yeah, you did the right thing. Hey there. What's up? Finding music I have some music if you want some. Okay, new idea is to have it just separate on its own and have him come pull it. Okay, little buddy. So confident doing targeting. He's like, I got this. Now I want him to yank this thing, actually pull it, pull it somewhere. It goes so fast, my clicker is super delayed. There we go, actually moved the box. Good job. You got a chunk for that. Yank it. Yes. Hard not to freak out and get excited. He got two on that one. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, yeah. He just does it. Which is interesting because if you guys remember, I put that yeah. on cue. Well, not on cue, but I was rewarding it because it's one of those calmer uh, vocals that he does. He's got this. You gotta pull it. You gotta pull better than that. Oh, that was crap. A little harder. A little harder. Big one for you if you can do it. Okay, that's definitely gonna be the last one because he is losing interest. Did you not like that? You can have a good one. Once you eat something you like. 
Hey there, and thanks for watching this series on Touche the Indian Ringneck. Now, he's one of the project birds that I've worked with, among many others. This is also Rusty, another project bird, and it's thanks to my patrons over at patreon.com forward slash bird tricks that I'm able to do this at no cost to either the rescues or the previous owners of these project birds. So if you like content like this, please consider supporting me over on patreon.com forward slash bird tricks. Yanked it. Let's try to make it so everybody can see you do this. <laughs> Good job. A pull. Pull, pull. Yeah, I like that. Good job, good job. There you go. Enter jackpot reward. Oh, you went for the pine nut. Do you guys remember when he didn't you see pine nuts? Now he likes them. He just skipped, like, walked over his jackpot reward of three sunflower seeds in order to pull it again instead. This is, that was a great, um, example of animals wanting to earn their food versus just be fed a 24-hour buffet in a bowl. They like to be engaged, especially this species I'm finding. They would be great for somebody who loves to trick train and is always looking for a challenge with it. Did I give you a shell? Sorry. He's just like, to it, to it, to it. Do you wanna work on some of that other stuff? Like the spin? Spin. Good job. And, can you come up on my hand? can do it. This is after quite a while, but he is like horribly hand phobic after just a little bit of not being handled. Battery's gonna die. So as you can see, I, in order to build back my trust and interaction and my bond with him, I would do that through trick training with most birds. So this prop tricks are especially great because they are hands off, which means he doesn't have to interact with my hand other than taking a treat. And if your bird won't even take a treat from you, you can use a dish or you could just set it on the table. Um, but trick training is a great way to form a bond in a like, really strong relationship with a bird and earn back trust. There are tons of kids playing on either side of our house and he can see them through the windows so he's incredibly distracted. You come back to me. You gotta yank it though, remember? Yeah, like that. He's eating really slow so I can tell his motivation is like a two. It's actually impressive he's doing this much right now because I can tell he's not food motivated. <laughs> Um, even though he doesn't see these seeds in his normal diet, he still, like, keeps fairly full, so he just doesn't really care. Um, and that's my fault because he's with Lefty in an aviary right now, so I am overfeeding to make sure they both get enough and they don't fight about it. You come? You chillin'? You're chillin'. think maybe I actually had the wrong treat instead of, I mean, it is low motivation, but he's not really digging the sunflower seeds for some reason. Are you liking the pine nuts better? Okay, I'm 
Which one do you want? Pine nut. He took it over the sunflower seed. So I think that was part of my problem. That's enough of a session on that. He's gonna be an interesting one. I can't wait to see who ends up with him and how they end up doing with him and all that jazz. And you're super mellow today. Good job. I'm going to pull it. Good job. I'm breaking palm nuts, or palm nuts. I'm breaking pine nuts in half, by the way.